all right so in this section let's actually set up our development environment so i'm going to create a folder called lang chain and i'm going to open this folder in my visual studio code so to do that you can simply open visual studio code and drag and drop this folder inside of it and you can see that it's been opened right here right so now let us open up the terminal and we have to create something called a virtual environment so whenever we are installing packages we don't want it to be available globally we only want it to be available inside of that one virtual environment also it is a pretty standard process whenever we are working with python projects so i'm going to say python 3 so i'm working with mac by the way so i have to say python 3 right here but if you're a windows user you can just say python all right and then we have to say dash m and this is to tell python to run a specific module so dash m and then let's say venv -E so this is the module that we want python to run and finally we need to give the name for the virtual environment that we'll be creating as well so i'm going to name the folder that will be getting created as dot venv -E so we put this dot here so that the file that will be created will be hidden but you can also choose not to hide it as well. So in that case, we can just not put the dot there. So let's press enter. And now you can see that we have the virtual environment created. So the first step of creating a virtual environment is done. The next step is to make the terminal point to that virtual environment. Right now, you can see that it is pointed to base, which is the location outside the virtual environment. But we need to point it to the virtual environment because we'll be installing a lot of packages for this course. Right. So to change this, VS Code might automatically show a pop-up to accept it right here. But if it doesn't show you, you can just easily click on this button right here and then select the VENV directory right here. And that's it. It has been changed to the VENV path. So if I open up another terminal window, you can see the VENV on the left side. So we are now in the virtual environment. That's it. Our Python development environment is completely set. Uh, all right. So now I've gone ahead and created a very simple folder right here and then a file inside of it as well called chat models starter. So inside of it, if I now type, uh, let's say print, let's learn lang chain and hit run right here. You can see that we have the text in the terminal right all right so our development environment is perfectly done so we are actually ready to start working with langchain now in the next section we will look at the first most important component of langchain which is called chat models so i'll see you there